SLA breaches in Zandesk. SLA breaches equal a broken promise. How do you avoid breaking your promises? Let's break it down in this video on how to keep accountability to your agents and especially to your customers. SLAs in Zendesk or service level agreements are a commitment from you to your customer that you will reply to them within a certain time and that you will solve their issue within another time interval. Service level agreements differ. Various niches have various SLAs. Food industry SLAs are going to be very different than banking SLAs or fintech. Now, using Zendesk, you know that there's some limitations to the SLAs. We're not going to focus on the limitations of SLAs in Zendesk, we're just going to mention them. What are they? Well, the SLAs differ from channel to channel, of course. For example, live channels like chat and messaging are going to have a different SLA or time response than for email, for example. And now to the biggest problem in SLAs in Zendesk is going to be you have the SLA breach and you can see it very nicely in Zendesk. However, you're not going to be able to send a notification to your agents to tell them like, hey, we're going to be breaking our promise and we need to do something. We need to perform an action. We need to reply to this customer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automation to not break that promise. It's going to be one hour before the SLA breaches or before we break our promise. All right, I've been uh, babbling too much and I've been showing too little. So follow me. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to my uh, admin center and then I'm going to scroll to objects and rules and I will go to automations. This is what we're going to use. We're going to use an automation. So let's add an automation and let's call it uh, SLA breach one hour before. So this is going to look for tickets that have not been solved and that have one hour until the SLAs is about to be breached. In this case, I'm going to be using business hours. So let's go here to first condition, like meet all. Status category is less than solved. What does less than solved mean? It means less than solved is anything on hold, pending, open and new. I'm going to add another condition. Notice that the UI here has been the same for a number of years. I remember this being the same as, I think this is my 11th year of working as a Zenus consultant. It used to be look exactly the same. So I don't know why Zenus is taking so long in updating this UI. Hmm. So let's look now for hours until next SLA breached and we're going to look for not calendar not calendar is we're going to look for business okay business is less than one okay so one hour if it's going to be less than one hour since my SLA is going to be breached I'm going to send a message to the assignee of that ticket to that agent to ask them to please perform an action to please do something to this ticket I'm going to deliberately leave this as it is right now it's incomplete and I'll show you why a little bit later Let's go to these actions. If it's not solved and it's uh, one hour before it's going to be breached, then send a message to my agent. Let's look for a notification. Here it is. User email, not requester. I don't want my requester to be notified of anything. I want my assignee of that ticket. And I'm going to say ticket SLA about to be breached. And then I'm going to say hi. And I'm going to put a placeholder here. And I'm going to say ticket assignee first name. Yes, thank you. So placeholder takes the assignee's first name dynamically. Please note that the ticket, and then I'm going to put another placeholder and say ticket ID, ticket dot ID, because I want my agent to see exactly what ticket this is so they can very easily search for it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to be very helpful. I'm going to put the URL of, of this ticket so the agent just clicks it directly, ticket.url. The agent goes directly to the ticket, it is about to be breached. Thank you and you're awesome. The system. <laughs> I don't know, this looks very impersonal. But anyway, okay, so let's do this. Let's try to create this automation. All right, very important lesson why this isn't working. That's why I left it like this, because I wanted you to see this error message. If you're just getting started with Zendesk, you have to learn the principles, and this is the principle. Automation cannot be created because it will run multiple times per ticket, and it's not allowed. Use a time-based condition that is true only once. Hours since created is 
is 24, right? So it's a definite condition like is 24, not less than solved. If I were to put here is solved and business is less than one hour, then it would probably run just once. Add an action that nullifies the condition. Yes, and it gives an example. Um, priority is high and then uh, change it to priority is urgent. The most important lesson that I want you to learn here is to use tags. We all do it and you will too. We're going to look for a ticket and we're going to say if the automation finds a ticket that does not contain a tag, then add this tag and the next time it will run it will look for this tag and if it doesn't have it it will run if it has it it will leave it alone it means that it has already been there so let's put tag ticket tags contains none of the following one hour sla and then what do i do to nullify it i just add this tag that i am specifically trying to avoid finding all right so let me actually try to say this another way so i'm going to look for the fact that this ticket does not have this tag so then in this action i'm going to add this tag I'm just going to go to tag add tags and i'm going to add the same tag now what this is going to do is each time it runs it's going to look like oh it doesn't have this tag good that it means that this is a uh, virgin ticket it hasn't been uh, processed by this automation forgive me that's all i could think of today <laughs> And um, it automatically adds this tag. So now it's a visited tag, let's call it. And it would leave it alone next time. Let's try it again, create. All right, it has been created. I don't have an example to show you right now. That's the subject of another video. I just wanted to create this quick update for you. So you will have the power to create uh, an automation to help you not break your promises and offer a better customer experience to your customers. So I hope this was useful for you and uh, I'll see you in the next one, bye.